This is a video about a new version of the traditional super trend indicator that's been upgraded with machine learning to identify not only the trend of the market, but also the volatility of the market. In this video, we're going to go over how this indicator works and how you can use it in your trading strategy. If you happen to find value in this video, remember to leave a like. Let's get into it. Now, to begin, go to Trading View. After you've loaded your favorite trading asset, you want to open the indicator search tab and type in Machine Learning Adaptive Super Trend. Be sure to select this one by Chart Prime. By now, you probably already know about the traditional super trend indicator. You know, it's an indicator that identifies bullish and bearish trends in the market, and it also gives buy and sell signals. Now, you may be thinking, but what is the difference between that indicator and this new indicator? Well, it's machine learning. The difference is machine learning. But what does that even mean? Well, machine learning is introduced to this indicator through something known as K-means clustering, which is a technique that categorizes market volatility into three distinct levels, high, medium, and low. This categorization allows the super trend to adjust more precisely to varying levels of volatility. In this table, you can see the three different levels of volatility, high, medium, and low. Each level is assigned a specific cluster number, three for high volatility, two for medium, and one for low. On the chart, the candles are going to be marked by these numbers based on the detected level of volatility. For example, when the indicator detects high volatility, the candles will be marked by the number Number three. Similarly, medium volatility is marked by the number two and low volatility by the number one. Looking at the settings of this indicator, the first option you'll see is the ATR length, meaning this indicator incorporates the ATR just like the traditional super trend. To understand the average ATR values associated with the different volatility levels, we can examine the cluster centroid values in the table. For example, for high volatility, which is cluster 3, the centroid ATR value is 0.35. This means that on average, candles with the number 3 have an ATR value of 0.35. And for low volatility or cluster 1, the average ATR is 0.25 for the last 100 bars. Why only 100 bars, you may be thinking? Well, it's because it's the default lookback period on how much historical candles the indicator uses as the training data. And we can actually see that in the settings. And we can even change it if we want to. But with 100 bars, the cluster size or the number of data points in each cluster reflects the data from the last 100 bars. For example, with Within the past 100 candles, cluster number 3 occurred 47 times, cluster number 2 occurred 26 times, and cluster number 1 occurred 27 times. When using this indicator to trade, you'll want to consider both the volatility level and the cluster size. An ideal scenario would be to focus on the highest volatility level with the highest cluster size. For instance, in high volatility markets with cluster 3, you want to avoid making buy or sell decisions if the cluster size for number 3 is the smallest on the table. Instead, ensure it's the largest of the three clusters before proceeding. This table is also going to display the current volatility level for your convenience, as you can see here. As we continue exploring this indicator, you will notice that the rest of its components are fairly straightforward. We have a trend cloud that changes color between red for bearish trends and green for bullish trends. During transitions between trends, the indicator is going to print red and green labels to mark the transitions. So from bearish to bullish, you're going to have a green label. And then from bullish to bearish, you're going to have a red label. These labels can also be used as buy and sell signals and we're going to explore that in a bit. But for now, let's take a look at the settings. The ATR length determines the period used for calculating the ATR, while the super trend factor acts as the multiplier for the super trend calculation. The training data length is the lookback period defining how much historical data is used for training. These values represent the percentile values which are going to be used to set the initial guesses for clustering. You can adjust them and observe how they impact the generated signals. Lastly, you can even customize the indicator's appearance by modifying the colors. Since I want to start by going over how we can use this indicator for trend identification, I want to change the super trend factor to 8. And then on the style tab, I'm going to disable every single option except for the first two plot options. After that, click OK. 
Now, if I zoom out on the chart, you will notice that by setting this indicator to have a super trend factor of 8, the indicator can now capture and identify longer term trends in the market. If you're going to be using this indicator for trend identification, this is how you'd want to set it up. Here we can see a clear bullish trend and here is a bearish trend. Now, another method of using this indicator to trade is as a buy sell signal generator. To do this, we're going to add the same indicator again. After adding it, we're not going to change any options. Instead, let's go directly to the conditions for taking a long position. First, you want to confirm that the market is in an overall bullish trend using the first super trend as a filter. This one at the top. Condition number two is we want to identify a market pullback. A pullback is going to be indicated by a red label printed by the second super trend indicator, immediately followed by a green label. This sequence signals a potential pullback. Lastly, once you confirm the pullback, you want to ensure that the candle with the green label has a cluster number three, as indicated below. This indicates that the volatility on this specific candle is high. On top of that, you want to confirm that the cluster number three on this table has the largest cluster size. This indicates that the high volatility has been dominant over the past 100 bars. With all these conditions met, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be taking this long position. Now, you want to put your stop loss in an area where the trend cloud of the second super trend indicator would be. How do you know where it would be? Well, it's usually above this green label. So we're going to drag this just until it touches the very top of the label. For the take profit, we're going to set it at 1.5 times the risk. Letting the trade run. And we can see the trade was profitable. Now, to give you a better understanding of this strategy, let's go over a short trade example. Condition number one, confirm that the market is in an overall bearish trend using the first super trend indicator as a trend filter, this indicator at the top. Second, you want to identify a market pullback. A pullback is going to be indicated by a green label printed by the second super trend indicator, immediately followed by a red label. This sequence signals a potential pullback. Lastly, once you have the pullback, you want to ensure that the candle with the red label has a cluster number three, as indicated below. This indicates that the volatility on this candle was high. On top of that, you want to confirm that the cluster number three on this table had the largest cluster size. This indicates that the high volatility has been dominant over the past 100 candles. All the entry conditions were met on this candle, so we're going to enter a short position. We want to put the stop loss at the bottom of the red label as it would be the same level where the trend cloud is going to be. For the take profit, I want to set it at 1.5 times the risk. Letting this trade run. And as you can see, it was profitable. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Machine Learning Adaptive Super Trend Indicator by Algo Alpha, an ideal tool for traders seeking a sophisticated adaptive upgrade to the traditional super trend. By adding this indicator to your toolkit, you can make trend detection and volatility tracking more precise and efficient. Check it out on TradingView and let us know if it fits into your trading strategy. Well, that's been it for this video. I really hope you found some value. If you did, remember to leave a like or even consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.